Hello everyone and welcome to Ultimate Wolf Simulator from Gluten Free Games. And you guys have been looking forward to this for such a long time and I am really excited to be breaking ground on Ultimate Wolf. So we have really enjoyed Ultimate Fox Simulator far, 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 far more than I ever imagined I would. And I've already found ways to build amazing stories in our Fox family and our Fox world. And so now it's time to move into Ultimate Wolf Simulator and see what this version has for our wolf families. We're actually going to be continuing on with one of our wolf families from our long running 300 plus episode Wolf Quest series. So if you guys happen to remember Clover and her mate Cliff, we are actually going going to be playing with them this time around. We're going to be starting with Clover, our female wolf who has all black fur, and working our way through the forest, searching for Cliff, hopefully adding him to our pack, and hopefully having plenty of pups to populate the forest with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're here. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited. Give me just a second to make sure everything is all set up. All right, and we're good to go. Okay, Clover, it's time to get moving. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty, you guys. All right, this is gonna be a little interesting. Let's back up a little bit. Look at her move. Oh, she's so pretty. Can I get a good look at her? Oh, Clover, hold still for a second. I wanna see you turn. This world is so different than the fox's world too. We're gonna have to do a little bit of exploring and we're gonna have to do a little bit of jumping, pouncing, biting. We'll have to see. Okay, what does this do? Oh, what a beautiful jump she can do. Can we jump over this log? <gasps> it moved, it's gonna roll on top of us. Look out for that Clover. All right, so I imagine that Clover has actually run away from the Lost River, which is where she spent a good chunk of her time. Clover's from the Lost River area and that is where she met her mate Cliff, but those areas already had several wolf packs populated. So I could see how she would start to break away from that zone and she and Cliff got separated looking for a new area Area that their pack can call home. Now she is from the storm, the starry skies, excuse me, she's from the starry skies pack in our wolf quest series. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking out her backstory. I will go ahead and put a link. Oh, what's this? I will go ahead and put a link so you guys can see what's going on there. What is over here? Have we discovered something? Who are you? Oh, this is a territory marker. All right, so we can define some of our territory and we just chased off some food. There goes a little squirrel. Let's go ahead and see if I can catch it. This is very similar. All right, come on. Come on, little one. This is very similar to Fox Simulator, but not quite the same. I feel like our foxes are a little bit better at hunting. All right, so that's the growling. And can I get it? See, the foxes can kind of swipe. There we go! All right! We got our food! Good job, Clover! So we'll go ahead and have her eat. Yeah, looks like everything is pretty much similar. All right, good. And we'll back up a little bit. I wonder when we're gonna see, like, some other wolves. Wow! Wow! Okay, we're gonna start looking around. Let's also check the map. Oh, wow! Okay, so where are we? Apparently there's food in this area. There are some things marked. Oh, we have missions already. We want to get level one scavenging. What? We can do scavenging? Okay, we want to mark our territory three times. Um, it looks like there's some bosses to fight. And there's a bunch of water. Oh, there's another wolf. Oh my gosh. I think, I wonder what's going to happen when we can hopefully find where her mate Cliff ran off to after we got separated. So we'll run around and look for that in just a second. Vitality, strength, dexterity, intelligence. And then we've got heightened senses to locate the closest enemy. The vicious lunge for a chargeable attack. Oh boy, is that another wolf? It's running into that redwood tree, so it's not the smartest thing. I don't think we have to worry about it. We have lick your wounds to heal 50% over five seconds. So those are some pretty good skills. And then let's see. Yeah, the buffs. We don't have Mark of the Wolf or anything like that unlocked yet, but hopefully we can get there. We want to really unlock Mark of the Owl as quickly as possible because we have learned from being a fox that that is super useful. All right, there's a lot of wolves over there and we probably don't want to run into them just yet. We're not very strong. I'm already super thirsty. We need to find some water, so we should probably look around. What's that? Is that a mushroom? I don't think we can eat a mushroom. <gasps> it's a whole bunch of little mice. Oh, I want to get them. I want to get them. I need to get them. Hey, come here. Okay, that's not going to help me. And we're running low on water. Okay, let's look for where some water is. All right, water, water all around. There's some over here. We need enough to drink and survive. We're getting very low. Whoa, is this a rainstorm? It's a snowstorm. Clover, what are you gonna do with a snowstorm? Oh, can we get this squirrel? Nope. Ah, oh, man, we need to speed it up. I bet if we were faster, we would be able to get those squirrels, but we'll have to worry about that later. 
Oh, the water's so far away. We're probably going to have to hug the coast for a little while. It's not like the fox world where the water's a little bit closer. And now she's so tired. Hang in there, Clover. Hang in there. You can make it. You can make it. All right, let's keep going. Come on, Clover. Hopefully we can get her over to the water before she dies. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. Is that like... Is that a crocodile? Please tell me that's not a crocodile. Oh, that's the moon. How pretty is that? What is in the water? Can you swim in the water? Oh, wow. That's, a, that's an alligator. It sure enough is an alligator. I can't believe that. Oh, Clover. You're going to have to think about howling at the moon. This is beautiful. Howling at the moon in the middle of a rainstorm like this. I love it. All right, and I need to remember what the green bar stands for. So let's go down here really quickly. Oh, and you can get different achievements for defeating certain animals. That'll be really fun. Oh, and I can't wait, you guys, because Ultimate Stray Cat, uh, Ultimate Cat Generator, or Generator, what the heck, Simulator, is going to be coming out pretty soon. So she needs her hunger. We need to eat some more. Apparently feeding Clover that one little squirrel was not enough. Oh, this is so amazing. It's a lot harder than being a fox. We're already lost in a snowstorm. Poor Clover. Already lost in a snowstorm. Let's go to the den. And it looks like there's some food up along the side. Okay, she probably needs food more than a den at the moment. So we'll have to save some of our stamina so that if we see any food, we can run after it. Oh, it's all so hard all over again. But this is so amazing because she's lost in a snowstorm. We're going to have to get her up to a high enough level that we can find her mate Cliff. And I'm so excited to see what their family is going to be like because Clover and Cliff were a couple of my favorite stories. Come on, skunk. I don't even care if you're stinky. I desperately need you for food. I'm not going to get attacked by a skunk. What is this? Come on. Come on, Clover. You could do it. I don't know if she can pounce. Can she pounce? She can dodge. All right. We're going to take this skunk out. No, skunk. Come back. Come back. It's fleeing for its life. We have to hunt it down. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, chase after it. Lunch. Oh, finally. Thank goodness. I was really worried she wouldn't be able to get enough food. Oh, sweet. She leveled up. Good. Good. Well, that's a relief. Now, how much food do we have? All right. Good experience. Maybe we should go ahead and look for the den because the den is nearby. And maybe we'll be able to go ahead. Can we mark our territory like anywhere? I wonder what that does. Is it going to be like ultimate? Oh, there's another there's another skunk. Poor Clover. She's been reduced to eating skunks. Oh, well, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Whatever it takes to survive. Can she pounce on animals the way the fox can pounce on animals? I'm going to have to find out. Come on. Come on, Clover. Oh, she's lost a snowstorm of eating skunks that are running away from her. Oh, I can't wait to find her mate. She and Cliff have like the best romance story. All right. And they should be pretty good at looking through forest because Cliff had a really great story of being from, oops, we're, now we're running into the Redwoods and we were like laughing at the wolves who were doing that. That's a bear. We're not going to fight a bear right now. All right. What's over here? That's just a bush. It's hard to see when it's so dark like this. And apparently we don't have night vision the way that, oh, and this is apparently the den. We don't have night vision the way that the fox is dead. So we'll just have to hang in there. All right. Come on, Clover. We can do this. Poor Clover. We'll get you leveled up soon. And then we'll find your mate. And then a strong, healthy pack will definitely be able to make things happen. All right. So I'm thinking maybe over here could potentially be where the den was. I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. What have we found? What have we found? Oh, what's this? <gasps> it's a treasure chest. We've discovered a den! Wonderful! Oh, poor Clover. Okay. She's pulling herself deep under the tree. The snowstorm is suddenly, suddenly silenced as we curl up in the back of the den. And she just plunks right over. Did you see that? Poor Clover. She's so tired. We'll try to get her up to a high enough level to be able to find her mate. There we go. Oh, and she leveled up from that. Wonderful. So let's look over things really quickly. I think to unlock more wolves if this is anything like it is with our fox simulator then we have to get to certain levels and then new new ranks will be unlocked so those are achievements hmm breeding bonding yeah spots for wolves will unlock when 
when your wolf pack is at levels 5, 15, 25, 40, and 55. Wonderful, and you establish dominance by battling a wild wolf to 50%. Use a series of howls and growls to establish a strong bond. Wonderful, okay. So this is going to be a little tricky, but we found a den. I really like it. It's tucked away inside of the trees. Where is it on the map? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we found that den. Wonderful. All right, and it looks like there's some... Oh, I really... No, I really don't want... Really don't want... Can we outrun it? Can we run it? And, are those sheep? Do I have a bunch of yummy sheep to eat? I should probably check if I actually have the bear behind me in just a second. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have a bear behind me. All right, can we... Tell me I can pounce on this. Come on. Come on. I can climb on top of the fox. Or the fox? The uh, sheep. There we go. All right. So the bear didn't chase me down. But I do have the problem of having to fight my way past a bear before we can get back to our den. And I'm not sure how that's going to really play out. So we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. But let's go ahead and eat this sheep too. Sorry, sheep. And then we'll do some exploring because this is a whole new world. So Clover got lost in a snowstorm. Now we need to find Cliff. So let's get to level five as quickly as possible. And then we'll see if we can find her mate Cliff. All right, come on, come on Clover, you got it. You got it, there we go. All right, and we'll go ahead and finish off this sheep. Sorry sheep, it's really not personal. We just definitely need some food. All right, there we go. That was so cool seeing the moon over the ocean too. Clover's family. Being from the Starry Skies pack. Alright, there we go. Yeah, she's a very strong fighter. But Clover's family, being from the Starry Skies pack, has a very special affiliation with the moon. There you go, Clover. Okay, so now she's up to level 4. We're almost there, you guys. And then we can search out for Cliff. Oh, there's a wolf. I don't know if that is Cliff. And there's a white wolf over there, too. Who knows what color Cliff could be this time. And we need to find more food. Hmm, what's going on over here? Is that an entire wolf pack we'd have to fight? Huh, is that like a boss area? Hmm, it's not even a boss area. All right, we're gonna go this way and we're gonna have to figure out how to learn the scavenging trait too. That's gonna be interesting. There's one of the rolling logs. Can I do anything to it? Hmm, all right, we'll have to see. We'll walk around for a minute. We'll have to see what else we can do. Oh, is that another sheep? There's more sheep, okay. So does it say anything about scavenging? Other switching dens, targeting. Hmm. Play as this wolf. Okay, so yeah, it seems pretty much the same. Skills tracking. Vicious lunge. Maybe that's what we need. Lick your wounds. Hmm. And something about scavenging. So that's actually one of the uh, one of the current missions that we have. Scavenge level one. Oh, maybe that's what the X marks the spot is all about. I gotcha. Okay. So X mark the spot or scavenger. I got you. I got it. I got it. I got it. So scavenger is probably where the food is or let's see where the, the X marks the spots are. Okay. All right. We'll have to we'll have to get there. But there's entire fields of sheep. So a wolf loose among the sheep is kind of what we're doing at the moment. All right, Clover. At least this is easy food. I kind of miss the mushrooms with our with our foxes though. So I'm sort of tempted. I miss my foxes already. I knew that wouldn't be long. I've fallen in love with those foxes. All right. Come on, sheep. Come on. There we go. All right, good job, Clover. But the good news is, look at this. We can bring food back to the den if we wanted to leave the pups back at the den and bring our food back in the future. We would be able to do that. There we go, and we'll finish up eating this. We would be able to do that so that our puppies could grow up in the safety of, oh my gosh, look at this frog. <laughs> the safety of the den, and we wouldn't have to worry about them being exposed to rival wolf packs or the bear and things like that. All right, we'll go ahead and eat this toad. Wonderful. All right, let's ex like explore in the corners just for a moment more. But I'm really looking forward to this, you guys. I think we'll be able to tell Clover's story so much more in depth and with so much more variety than we can in Wolf Quest. And this might be a really fun way to kind of bring a lot of our spirits to life. Did you see that? What was that about? What flipped that log? <gasps> the amazing glitches begin. I wonder if Cliff has been turned into something. Oh my gosh, look at that go down. Is it gonna roll on top of the crocodile? I will laugh so hard. Are those fish? Okay, you guys. 
So next time we will have to go down and we will have to try to eat a fish because we've learned what happens when we were a fox and we ate a fish. We ended up getting involved with all sorts of drama and we ended up getting a mate. Oh, poor Thistle Claw. I miss him so much. Oh, and don't worry, we will return to Ultimate Fox Simulator as well. But I'm really excited to give Clover a chance to show off her life here in the wild forest with her mate Cliff. So we'll go looking for Cliff next time. Hopefully we'll be able to find him and we'll start tackling some of the missions that her pack, which is probably going to need a new name pretty soon. I don't know, maybe the Cloverleaf pack? We'll have to think about it. But we'll see what kind of missions they're going to go on next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.